Hi, I'm Carolyn Ashburn, Impact 100 Philadelphia's Vice President. This is the first of a series of videos to help members understand our new grants process, which begins in 2018. This is an overview. Other videos and webinars will explain in more detail what to expect. You may be wondering why we have a new process when the old one has worked well for us for nine years. Good question. The answer is that we want to continue to improve for the benefit of the nonprofits and for our members. Impact 100 Philadelphia is celebrating its 10th year. In the early years, small groups of members met in each other's homes to discuss grant proposals. As you may know, nonprofit organizations send us proposals for work they are doing in one of five focus areas arts and culture, education, environment, family, and health and wellness. In recent years, our five focus area committees have grown to about 30 people each, and that has made it more difficult to have a discussion where every voice is heard. Our goal with the new process is to take a deeper dive into the grant proposals we receive and to make the experience even better for our members. In 2018, we will keep our five focus areas and we will still distribute $100,000 grants and we are bringing back the small group experience that members loved in the past. Each focus area will consist of several small teams of up to 10 women led by an experienced member. The teams will read and evaluate three to four proposals together, go on site visits together, and then share their findings with other members in the entire focus area committee. The grants process starts with a letter of inquiry. Organizations that are applying for a $100,000 grant decide which focus area fits them best and they submit a letter of inquiry in that area for review. Letter of inquiry committees made up of about seven experienced members select the best letters and invite these nonprofits to submit a full proposal. In the past, we would invite approximately 10 organizations in each focus area to submit a full proposal. This was based on the reasonable number that a committee could handle. In 2018, however, we will be able to accept more full proposals because our small teams will be able to manage more and have a richer discussion. Let's take a look at the process. The first team meeting takes place the week of March 12th. Before the first team meeting, members will read and rank proposals to prepare for the meeting. We will provide training for first-time focus area members and a review for all members who would like one. At the first team meeting, members discuss what they've read and select organizations for site visits. They will also hear from the financial review panel. The second team meeting takes place the week of April 16th. Before the second team meeting, the teams go on site visits. There is no requirement to go on a site visit, but if you want to participate and you can't make your team scheduled visits, you can go with another team in your focus area if there is space available, and as long as you have done your homework, that is, you've studied the proposal of the organization you will be visiting. At the second team meeting, the small team meets to review their site visit reports and selects an organization to recommend to the whole focus area committee. The financial review panelists share their final reports. Before the focus area committee meeting, there's more homework. All team members will read the proposals and the site visit reports from the other teams in their focus area. Then, the focus area committee meeting is the week of May 7th. The teams in the committee meet each other for the first time. All of Impact 100 Philadelphia's hallmarks apply, including honoring confidentiality within the focus area and honoring our value that every woman's voice is important and should be heard. The selection and voting process will then be the same in each of the five focus areas. Each focus area will select one finalist to present at our annual meeting on June 4th. That's it. We hope you will join us. I invite you to sign up to be a member of a focus area committee and enjoy the experience of being on a small team of dedicated women who are collectively making a big difference. Watch for more training modules on our website and if you have questions, don't hesitate to send them to the grants chair at grants at impact100philly.org. Thanks for listening and have a great day.